Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you guys how to disassemble your Lenovo G50 laptop. How you can take it apart and how you can repaste your heatsink. And also I'm going to show you a surprise once we get to the heatsink site. Some people want to open and clean the fans they say. So there's a surprise for them once we get there. And in the process you're going to be able to replace your keyboard, your hard drive, your RAM, your CD-ROM. So let's get into it. First thing first, flip it over. Remove the three screws at the bottom side of the laptop. All right, once you remove those three screws, grab the bottom cover, slide it towards the front of the laptop. You're gonna see a gap right there. Once you see that gap, just go ahead and lift up the bottom cover. That's just the bottom cover if you wanna replace. The model number is written right on the sticker. Right, right now we can we have an access to the laptop, so you can see the hard drive, the RAM, the Wi-Fi board, and obviously the battery is from outside. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the battery. So unlock the battery, pull the trigger, lift it up, flip, remove the battery. Once you remove the battery, we're gonna go ahead and remove the hard drive. In order to remove the hard drive, there are four screws holding it. So remove these four screws. There we go. Now once you remove the screws, you're going to grab the hard drive, it slide it towards the speaker on the, this side, or towards the CD-ROM. Once you see a gap right there opening, grab the hard drive, lift it up, that's it. Next, you want to remove the CD-ROM. In order to remove the CD-ROM, there's only one screw holding it right in the middle, right there, by the Windows logo. Now once you remove that, you have to grab your, do not yank the cover of the CD-ROM to remove it. You want to damage it. You can get to, to damage it. So what I always do, it's the proper way of doing it, is take a screwdriver right there and just push the cover towards the right side. And while, when you do that, you're going to see the CD-ROM just comes in, comes out, I mean, right there. Now you can go ahead, grab the CD-ROM and remove it or DVD-ROM, CD-ROM, and the model number is right on top, part number, if you want to replace, go ahead. Alright, next, you want to unhook the Wi-Fi cables from the board, just grab these two Wi-Fi cables, unhook them, unrail them from the plastic bottom cover. Next, what you want to do, you want to remove all the screws from the bottom cover, so everything that you see, the two under the batteries, the one right there, the one on the white sticker, which is for the keyboard, the one right there, and by the RAMs, there's one more right there, and let's go ahead and remove all the screws. Once we remove all the screws from the bottom side, double check, make sure you haven't forgot any. Do not remove any screws for the heatsink, and do not remove the screws for the Wi-Fi board yet. All right, now you wanna flip the laptop, open the laptop, you wanna remove the keyboard. To remove the keyboard, grab your guitar pack. I, have, I made a video how to remove it, so you wanna check that video out, and put it right on the bottom, between the keyboard, flap, cover and go ahead and lift it up once you let it, don't yank it out make sure you have to unhook the lock right there so lift up the lock in 90 degree angle and remove it that's your cable with the part number right there i'll leave the part numbers in the video description also remove the ribbon cable for the touchpad and the ribbon cable for the on off switch all right, once you remove these two, you want to detach the top cover from the bottom cover. In order to do that, again, you got to grab your guitar pick and you want to put it right in between these two plastic and you want to jiggle it around and you want to hit the click sound.
now that we loosen up the bottom top cover there's one more thing on this version you do have to remove actually these two screws right there because it goes through the heat sink and to the board and it goes to the top side of the panel so go ahead and you just have to loosen it up you cannot remove it so loosen those two and then go ahead and flip it over and you have to let it force it and lift out the bottom cover so what do you get here is the top cover if you see on the bottom you see the touchpad and the on off switch is right here you know that if you want to replace your on off switch button there's only one screw remove that and you can just replace the whole switch board All right. Now down here, this is the funny part. There is no fan on this models, just because they made it this way. It's not supposed to be, because they have calculated the heat generated right in the heat sink. So after a while, if the heat stays in here, and there's no way it can dissipate out. So the processor it starts doing a bottlenecking, and uh, overheating, and slowing down. So. That's why I do not recommend this laptop to anybody as there is no fan for the cooling down the heat sink. So anyway, and on this side you have your SD card reader, extra USB and your audio jack. In order to remove this ribbon cable, just lift up the jack right there and remove the ribbon cable. To remove this USB and SD card reader, there's one screw right there. Unscrew that one, and you can go ahead and lift up the. This. There you go. You can lift up the jack for your USB and SD card reader. If you have a broken one, go ahead and replace it. Also, the speakers are right underneath here. You can just remove them without any screws. Just lift it up and replace your speakers if you need to. You're just gonna leave them in. Next, you want to unhook the adapter for the CD ROM, just kind of riser type adapter and riser. So, unhook that, remove the ribbon cable. If you want to unhook the adapter, one screw in the middle, and there you go. Next is for the motherboard. Before you detach the motherboard, you have to remove the, the speaker's cable. Once you remove the speaker cable, remove the screw right up by the battery right there. Remove the screw by the speaker down here and the one by the internet cable. Once you remove those, now you can go ahead and gently lift up the motherboard. Make sure there's a power cable jack connected and the uh, screen cable is connected. So lift it up towards the screen just like that and once while you got it on this position you can go ahead and pull out the screen cable right there LCD cable just pull it out holding this flip thing right here and if you want to remove the power jack just unhook the power jack slide it towards the heat sink right there so what else we got down here there's a power jack if you want to replace your power jack just go ahead and lift up your power jack from there you have to unhook it from there right there and you can just replace it really easy replacing your power jack so you get the new power jack just grab it put it in there push it down Run the cable by the plastics, for sure you know. And then, once you finish with that, you can go ahead and close the lid for the laptop. There's not much we can do down there.
there's your CPU built in CPU and there's your Wi-Fi board if you want to replace it there's only one screw your RAM just by pulling these two trigger apart you can just oops, it just falls off if you want to put it back in in 45 degree angle goes in and push down this pipe doesn't is not effective it just can hold up the cpu cool it down for a few hours and after that it's just going to over throttle and slow down the laptop okay i'm going to show you guys a, a half proper way of the heatsink the heatsink supposed to be just like this one with a fan and obviously it's, it's a mess there's a lot of thermal paste in this one so they're supposed to have this kind of fence right there so the air can travel and cool down the heat pipe in this one there's no fan there's just an aluminum sheet and there's no fan underneath so it cannot air there's no circulation of the air so it's kind of passive and not even passive it's just there's no airflow anywhere in there so this is a proper way and this is just the way they do it so they calculate how long the computer, a laptop should last based on the way they do it. Anyway, so in order to remove the thermal paste, you unscrew the heat sink by removing four screws on these clamps. Once you remove the four screws, just go ahead and lift up the heat sink. And there you have it. What do you want to do right now? You want to go ahead and we have this plastic cover right here and just trash it you don't need it you don't want to use it if you want to use it go ahead but there's no need for it and this one has an excessive thermal paste even up to here that it's not necessary i do not know why they have so much thermal paste here so let's go ahead and clean up the thermal paste here Grab your alcohol. And start rubbing right over the dye. You don't need necessarily go ahead and clean it, start cleaning the whole CPU. As long as you clean the dye, that's fine. Some people have a this fetish that they want to clean the whole thing. It's not gonna do anything. But if you have the time and the patience, go ahead and start rubbing off everything. Once you clean the CPU, start cleaning the heat sink. Now what do you want to do? I recommend you guys use an Arctic Silver 5 or MX4. They are both good. And for this laptop, I'm gonna use an MX4 because there is no need to use an Arctic Silver 5 because there is no fan, so there is no point. But after, even if I put the Arctic Silver 5, the heat is gonna come back because there is no heat dissipation right there. So once you put the thermal paste on the die, flip it over, and it starts screwing back in. All right, now that we got the new thermal paste in place and the heat sink back in, we're gonna assemble it back together. Grab your motherboard, keep it in this position, plug in the, just go ahead and plug in the power jack. You don't need to go ahead and plug in the cable, the other one right now. Just plug in the power jack. Once you that, did that, just flip it, put it down, put it in the face. Remove the cable for the speaker to come to a side. Now you're gonna put the three screws for the motherboard. Next, we're gonna put the board for the CD ROM, the extra USB ports. Now we're gonna go ahead and plug in the ribbon cable for the CD ROM to the main board and the ribbon cable for the USB port and also connect the power cable I mean the speaker cable 
Once you did all this, grab the top cover, place the hinge side down first, and push the hinge side down just like that, and go ahead and press the side gently. You're gonna hear this clicking noise, that's just fine. Alright, once you got that in, go ahead and plug in the power cable, plug in the touchpad have three fingers right here so I use my screwdriver now we're gonna put the keyboard in place the trick for the keyboard grab it this in this position put it in offset on the screen a little more unlock the plastic Slide the ribbon cable underneath, close the lock, put the bottom side down first, slide it in, grab the middle, lift it up a little bit, push down the sides, push down the other side, now you can let go of the top side. Flip it over, what do you want to do right now, you're going to put the CD-ROM in. Make sure the CD-ROM goes just like this, face down. You want to put the screw for the CD-ROM right in the middle before you forget it, otherwise it's going to just slide off. Put the three screws for the keyboard. Alright, now that we put the keyboard screws in, grab your Wi-Fi cables, run them in. And you're gonna connect the cables. I use my tweezers to do this. It's really small. Just hold them in a position and push them down. Alright, next you're gonna grab your hard drive, put the hard drive end side down, and then slide it toward the connectors. And put the four screws for it. Once you have that in, you're gonna go ahead and plug in the cable for the screen, which is right here. You're just gonna grab it and just push it down slightly, right in place. There you go. Now go ahead and put all the screws at the bottom side, the ones under battery too. Also tighten the screws for the heat sink, which is going to hold the top cover, there's only two. And that's about it. Now you can go ahead and grab the battery, put the end side of the battery down, and just flip it, rotate inward. Put the lock, and that's about it. Now the last thing is the bottom cover. You want to grab it and put it in an offset position. And then push it down slightly gently and slide it towards the battery. And that's it. I hope you guys like this video. If you liked it, thumbs up. And if you guys subscribe, you get a chance to win a prize. As soon as I hit 500 subscribers, I'm once at 1000 subscribers. And if you have any requests, let me know. And thanks for watching, guys. Alright, and this is how you disassemble, reassemble, clean and repaste your Lenovo G50 laptop.